All right, so before we get in too deep into conversation, let's call the meeting to order for Monday, March 8th, 2021. Uh, in attendance are Joyce Chunglo, Christian Stanley, Jane Nevin Smith, John Moskevitz, and David Phil. All votes will be taken via roll call vote, and this is being recorded, although not being streamed or broadcast now, it will be uh, broadcast later on by Hadley Media. So uh, this will be a short meeting, but uh, first item is the consent agenda. We have warrants PR2118. We have a live entertainment license, North Hadley Sugar Shack, which needs to be contingent upon police, fire, and building inspector approval. And that's it. I'll move. All right. Second. Motion by Joyce, second by Jane. Any discussion? Jennifer? Uh, roll call vote Phil? Yes. Chunglo? Yes. Stanley? Yes. Nevin Smith? Yes. Wiskevitz? Yeah. Thank you. All right, next item is public comments. 15 minutes, maximum of three minutes per person. If anyone's here for public comments, turn on your camera, wave at us. I guess Susan's not here for public comments since she's the only non-select board person here. <laughs> that and uh, the cat. Yep, and Jennifer's cat. Um, we'll keep moving. Je uh, Carolyn, did you want to hit anything from the administrator's report? Any updates or anything? No, not since Wednesday. Okay. Um, we'll item 5.1 North Hadley Village Hall. So just an update for the public. Uh, we decided to end negotiations with um, the individual that we had entered negotiations uh, approximately 15 months ago for the sale of North Hadley Village Hall. And so tonight, what the select board needs to do is to vote to end the current RFP for North Hadley Village Hall, uh, declare the Village Hall available for disposition, and, uh, and also vote to include historic restrictions on the property and then go back out to bid. So uh, I'm gonna read a motion, and if I could get that motion, and then we can discuss it if need be. So. Uh, we need a motion to declare North Hadley Village Hall at 239 River Drive, Hadley Mass, available for disposition with historical conditions and that the building use must be legal and conform to local zoning requirements. So moved. Second. All right, motion by Joyce, second by Jane. And if there's any discussion? Why I guess I just... Oh. Why didn't our vote count on Friday when... We give him a two week period of time to get his act together or not. Was that vote uh, good or not good or what, why, are, why are we here? So we're voting tonight to officially end the old RFP. We had voted in executive, I believe it was, to uh, put a deadline on negotiations. Uh, but we now we need to terminate the actual RFP and issue a new RFP. Correct, Carolyn? Yeah, I was just going to ask. So it's basically, you know, we kind of said, uh, let's negotiate. This is the deal. Take it or leave it. And they decided just to, that they weren't interested. And I'm more or less saying this just to clarify on video what the decision was, is that we did um, make an offer uh final offer for the person that was going had a bid in on the place but they wanted more than we were willing to give up for the place is my understanding correct uh and they also couldn't meet our timeline either as far as closing the the deal and a break in the ice child was located quickly and transported well, no problem as long as we do that rfp again you know, as is, where is, and ASAP. Right, Joyce? Oh, I said that to my husband. I was getting online for the North Valley Hall, and he said, didn't you tear that thing down yet? So he's, he's on the same side of the track as I am. But again, if we can find somebody uh, that's interested in it, I'm more than happy to do that. But you know all how I felt. And he said, we've been going at this for 15 years. So um let's let's get this wrapped up before i take it to town meeting and just say let's demolish it at this point any other comments 
That could still happen, right, Joyce? That could you still happen. That. <laughs> you got that right, Christian. <laughs> Maybe you should put it in your back pocket for town meeting, just in case. <laughs> it's sitting right there, right yeah. there. <laughs> Can't wait to read the newspaper tomorrow morning, Joyce. I'm I know. Sorry. I'm all, you know, this late date of my age, who cares at this point? You know, I mean, you know, I don't know what to say, you know. All right. I, I make a motion to. Or Joyce already made it. So. Yep, it's already on there. So we don't have any. Put it up for a vote. Any last comments? If not, Jennifer. Roll call vote, Phil. Yes. Chungalo. Yes. Family. Yes. Nevin Smith. Yes. Yes. Kevin. Yes. yes. Thank you. Last okay. There was uh, one, David. Yep, good. Um, we do you. Yes. We also used an RFP process to um, contract out with a realtor. And I wanted to find out, do you want to continue that RFP or do you not want to use a realtor? And either way, I would, I'll still be checking with legal to see um, if we have to actually end it and start over for that RFP or if we can just continue it. But I wanted to get your feedback as a board. Do you still want to use a realtor? And I just disclose I have a conflict here, so I'm going to stay out of this discussion. I'll let uh, you guys run with it. Yeah, if that's if that's the way that we uh, did Friend Street, then let's go. It, it's not going to go to public auction. It's going to go for RFP, and, and the bids will come in. Yeah, it's different from Friend Street. That was an actual auction. This is the sale okay. of property. So what it does is it. Uh, this isn't an auction. This is a sale. So she will continue to show to bidders, she'll yeah. be, at, be able to take that time to go through the building with them. Sure, yeah. if anybody wants to look at it, then I suppose we ought to let them do that. Did we uh, did we contract with the realtor or were they just on for commission? So I have in front of, I mean, it was an RFP process. So um, it was a listing agreement is what I have in front of me. So we never compensated the realtor for their work? No, okay. It was six percent at the time of sale. I mean, we could just stick with the person and continue the process as we did before. I don't know if anybody has any objection to that. Yeah, but. No, I'm for that. I mean, they put their time in the first time, they put their time in the second time. We ought to give them something for it when we sell a place. Okay. Thank you. Do, do we need to take a vote for that or just that's good? Um, I mean, it's always safe, always safer to do that. I'm not sure you have to, but I would feel more comfortable if you did. All right, I'll, just... I'll make the motion to uh, continue on with the realtor as she's familiar with the building and with our process. I can second that. Jennifer. Uh, Okay, uh, roll call vote. Bill? Abstain. Chunglo? Yes. Stanley? Joyce. Yes. Nevin Smith? Yes. Yes. And with Kevin? Yes. Thank you. I have a question. Can we somewhere put in the RFP that we're really serious about a, a closing date? Want to answer, David, or you? Well, <laughs> I don't want to butt in. along those same lines, I just wanted to clarify that this is going to be where you know it's not necessarily price; it's the best overall package for the town. That's the best bet for the town. So, if somebody, we'll say, we get two bids, and one person says, "I can close tomorrow," as is, where is the other person? Maybe is five five thousand dollars higher, but says, "I might need six months to work it out." and I got to get my financing straight and everything else, then we can pick whichever one's better, correct? For the town? Yes. All right. So, I know which Joyce picked. <laughs> yes. Gasoline. And David, you had also <laughs> asked um, to make sure that financing is available. Like that, there's going to, I talked to the um, attorney about making sure there's wording in there to make sure financing's available as well. Perfect. 
And just so everyone watching at home and anyone that might be interested, interested in closing as soon as possible, as is, where is, we can wash our hands with it, be, uh, of it and be done. I think, and the only change also in the RFP is that the bell goes to the town. So if actually in the process here, if we could actually remove that bell prior to selling the building, I would really appreciate it. Uh, Carolyn, if you could uh, contact your friends and see if they could get that bell out of there, that would be uh, uh, most appreciative. Yeah, I'll work with um, Mike Spanknable on, Spank on that. Okay, I think great. It's even cleaner if we know that it can be, if the bell can be removed, we wait till we issue the RFP, if it can happen in a couple of days. Because then it's not an issue of we said one thing and the bell was in it and then we're moving the bell. The, be the bell is not in this RFP. I mean, it's still attached to the building. Let's get it out before we send this out. That's That was what I said, Jane. Absolutely. Okay. Get it out of there. Yep. I'll do the but I, I think that's part of the RFP that the bell does not go with the building at this time. This round. Uh, I apparently I need to be more clear <laughs> on the motion. I, I should have included it. So we need to formally vote to reject the offer and cancel or end the old RFP. So I need a motion to that effect as well. So moved. Second. And Friday. Motion by Christian, second by Joyce. Any further discussion on that? Two days back. Uh, all that ends this week. We've got the showers returning. I was listening to the weather there, I guess. I muted Joyce again. Sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> Stop muting me. <laughs> when when your TV's talking, it it's when the people are oh. more powerful than our voices, they take over. Oh, I don't have a TV. Tomorrow, actually, we're going to climb into the Pioneer Valley. Thanks. No, that's my husband because he's deaf. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Roll call vote. Phil? Yes. Chungalo? Yes. Danley? Yes. Nevin Smith? Yes. Chris Evans? Yes, again for a third time. Mine's more than a third time, John. <laughs> And, and if, just as a point of order for the for the vote and motions, I mean, do we have to vote on the previous motion again so that they're in consecutive order, or do you think we're good? Just the chance yeah, for okay. <laughs> Friday, those scattered showers. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on. Uh, we're going to skip number six for tonight: fire substation property use. Uh, just it'll be on the next well maybe the next meeting depending on budget talks but maybe the one after that but uh, as Joyce mentioned last time start thinking about uses for the field behind the north uh, fire station and I know there's talk of a baseball field and whatever else so we'll, we'll have that conversation and see where we want to go in the future and but just, but and again just keep in mind that part of the property behind the fire station uh, they wanted to keep for training. So uh, that part of the property needs to be not so much uh, as part of the process. And if anybody was thinking about fields, that there would have to be a separate driveway to access any part of those fields in the back. They cannot use the same access to the fire station. And also keep in mind, we don't have any money. So if someone wanted to find a way to uh, pay for this, that'd be great too. And I think there's been some talk of that. So um, I think, you know, we'll stay tuned for that and people will uh, like, we don't actually have like tonight when you surprised me with this on the agenda, um, the person that brought it forward to me hasn't had the opportunity to uh, make a presentation. So I think that's important too, that, you know, we allow this time frame for uh, who was interested in, in doing something with the property. Joyce, can I just ask, can we uh, maybe have like a map or something like that of the area that you're, with those restrictions you just kind of put on it, are we talking about the whole rest of the property besides the fire substation, a particular area? I don't know, maybe 
Mike could put together a map or something of the areas that are like available for use, I guess. Yeah, we can, you know, um, I think there is seven, but I'm not sure acres left there somewhere in that area. Um, but again, part of that needs to be set aside for the back part of the fire station for training and then uh, seeing what other property is left on that. So, you know, again, we're not really prepared right now tonight to, you know, have that full discussion on there, but uh, let's gather some extra information for at least the next meeting, if not the meeting after. Perfect. All right, last thing on the agenda is uh, COVID-19 update. Anything, anyone have any anything for that? It's getting better. I can say that much. Um, the amount of patients that are in the hospital is way down, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, we vaccinated with just Mass General alone. I can tell you the amount is like 175,000 people just within the Mass General thing. We now have opened up uh, uh, in, uh, COVID uh, injections uh, for the next phase through if your doctor is associated with Mass General, um, you can contact them and they will give you information on where to sign up for the uh, COVID vaccinations through your primary care. Okay. Um, any announcements? I just seen on the news, uh, I guess they had a party up in Amherst, 200 students just got, uh, Asked to leave from the campus if they do live on campus and we're at the party. So UMass is finally doing a little bit more and taking a little more seriously in this area. Rightfully so they should. Right. Anybody have any announcements for tonight? That's it for the agenda. So. That's it. I could have garnered a couple, but I'll pass on that till the next one. All right, well, if I could get a uh, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Right. Motion by Joyce, second by Jane. Jennifer? Bill? Yes. 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 Thank you. Right. 17. Thank you.